Hi boys and girls, so today I am going to show you how to make a paint bag. So I don't think we've done this in nursery before, but it is super simple. So I've got a ginormous Ziploc bag, but you can also use a food freezer bag, that's okay. Um, or a poly pocket, so I'll show you how to do it in both. Um, we'll also need some tape, I have duct tape and I have cell tape, and the tape cell tape is fine it's just for the corners of the bag so i know boys and girls can get a little bit excited and they like to push very hard so it's just to stop the edges of the bag from bursting that's all and to at the end we'll fold the ziplock kind of cover over and then duct tape it shut so it doesn't doesn't come out so this is a fun activity so i've got some blue paint yellow paint and red paint. So the boys and girls were doing some colour mixing before we left and they should remember what these colours are able to mix into. It makes some new colours. So uh, let us try, we'll try the little one first okay. So this one might not be as good, it's a poly pocket so there are like slight holes at the bottom um, and that's why we need our tape. So you just need to take long with the tape. And if you need some help in the house, boys and girls, please ask an adult to help you put your cello tape on. And we'll just go on and put, put it on half. And then we'll just go on and fold it over. Or even better, we can just fold the full thing over. And that way it creates a better seam. Okay, so I folded it in half. And we'll just cello tape the sides down. Because we've got wee bits of overlapping. And do the same with the three sides. So we've done that one. We've done. We'll do the next one. And as I said, it's just to help you make the bag a little bit stronger. Really, um, stops it bursting so easily. It might eventually burst. Like that's. It's it's inevitable, um, but it will stop it from happening a little bit sooner. So we've done two sides, so that should be okay. And this is where you need some hand. If you've got some paint or you can have some glitter glue, it'll work very well with glitter glue as well. Um, I only chose some paint so we could do some colour mixing, but you can make a paint bag and you can use a cotton bud. I'll show you. And you can write with it. Or, let's see, I'll pour it in slightly, just a little bit. Oh, as you can see, made a mess already. Okay. So, the paint's in. Let's see if I can angle you down. There we go. So since the paint's in, we're going to fold the top over and we're going to sell the tape again, okay? Just so we've got a nice seal. So this is, uh, is a wee bit tricky, so this is where you might need your adult's help. Okay, so as I say, this is not foolproof, like, it will work for you, but and then it might need a wee bit of readjusting. So it's easier with a Ziploc bag, but if you don't have a Ziploc bag, poly pocket, you can do the same. So as you can see, all my paint inside my bag, and this is the fun bit. You get to mix it with your fingers, and you can see what colours you can make. So I'm doing number eight, and it's mixing a red in with the yellow. And it's making orange, and the red and the blue. So this takes a wee while for all the colours to mix together. As you can just do that, you can rub it right in. You can get a cotton bud. If you've got sharp nails, it's easier with a cotton bud so you don't burst the bag. But if you're gentle using the top of your finger, then you can mark make as well. So you can create marks inside your paints. As you can see, the colours are mixing already. There we go. So let's see if I can make a bigger one now. So that was just a very simple one with a poly pocket, but tip rock bags are better. Just a wee bit stubbier, a bit stronger. 
I get paint everywhere because obviously Mandy's the messiest lady. Um, so here's that lot bag, and it is clothing. So you pour your paint in, you can do whatever colour you want. As I said, I'm only doing the yellow, red, and blue, it's because we did these in this way, and it really helped us with our colour matching and making our secondary colours from our primary colours. And then we share it over. As you can see, a zip bag. I'm going to use duct tape for this one just because this bag is a lot bigger and a lot sturdier. And if you have duct tape in the house, it would be perfect because it is a lot stronger than cell tape. Okay. So just you can fold it over or you can just go over the seal with it. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go over the seal with it. As long as it's covered and it's strong enough. Just make sure you don't obviously duct tape it to your table. And these can be fun, so you have your paint, your make, kind of mark making, but it's also tidy. So it well, should be tidy, should stay in the bag. If not, sell it, you'll be alright. Um, so there we go. And this is a lot, it's a lot stronger than what a Polly Pocket is. So it should work a little bit better. So this is literally hours of fun mixing the paint. It takes a bit longer. Like I've got yellow and blue and I'm making green. And then if all the paint is mixed together, I wonder what colour it would go then. So I've got red and blue. I think it's going to purple. So this is good for a wee soothing activity as well. As you can tell, I am really into this. But it's just a simple Mark making experience and sensory experience. You can put hair gel in this and hide some little small toys. You can make a sea world out of a poly pocket as a lot bag, a paint bag. And um, what else you can you could put shaving foam inside it. There's so many possibilities and it is really soothing. Like the paint is just again my choice because we we did it in nursery. But boys and girls, you can put whatever you like in this. You can put, if dad or mum or whoever in the house has things that they don't need anymore. Hair gel, shaving foam, conditioner. Like it's an easy, simple enough experience. With a Ziploc bag to make a little mark making bag out of it as well. As you can see, if you press hard enough, with your tops of your fingers, not your nails, you manage to make a big circle. And you can do, you can practice your numbers. There's a one, if that's the right way around for you guys. Or you can, I'll write a big N for Mandy. So you can practice your letters in this as well, as well as having lots of fun mixing colours. So this is a cool experience. And I really enjoy it, as you can tell. So boys and girls, I hope you like this. And I hope you try and make your own in the house. But as I said, if you need a hand, please ask an adult before you take anything to use. And I will hopefully see you soon. I'll see you next Wednesday uh, for a new video. Or next week even for a new video. So take care boys and girls. And I miss you lots. See you soon.